I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. This is the Exynos variant. And today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This will also work for any additional S21 variants that Samsung releases in the future. They might end up releasing an FE version or something like that. The main requirement here for this bootloader unlock tutorial is that we're only using, we're only able to use this on the Exynos variant. So if you're not familiar with which chipset you're using, look in the video description. I believe I've done a previous tutorial to show how to find out what CPU your device is running. These devices are either released with a Snapdragon or an Exynos chip inside. The Exynos is built from Samsung and they allow bootloader unlock, but they don't sell this in the United States. I have to import this from eBay. Now I know there are some paid services out there that will unlock the Snapdragon US variants. I'm not familiar with those. I'm not going to pay to unlock a bootloader. I'd rather just import the device, like I said. So once you have the Exynos Galaxy S21, you're going to want to check for a system update. So you're going to go in the settings, tap on software update, and check for a system update. Even if you don't have an update to download, you want to register that this device has checked for that update. This will begin a timer, a countdown, usually passes in seven days that we have to wait in order to unlock the bootloader. So if you have an Exynos Galaxy S21 and you're not finding the OEM unlock toggle and developer, uh, developer options like I'm about to show you, then it's because your persistent RMM state is currently set to pre-normal and we have to wait. I've seen some people saying seven days other people on the Samsung community forum saying that they've had to wait 30 days. So it just depends. Now you can boot into download mode to check your persistent RMM state. And I'll be linking to how to boot into download mode to check that again in the video description. But we've already waited that time period and we can check that by going into the settings application. And we're going to go into the hidden developer options menu. Again, if you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, look in that video description and it will be right there linked for you. So when we boot or when we dive into the developer options menu, you should see an OEM unlocking toggle. Again, this is going to be available for the Exynos versions of this device. We're going to tap on that toggle and then we're going to tap the turn on option right there. Now with this done, we can go ahead and boot the device into download mode. So we need to go ahead and power off the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So once the device is powered off, we're going to press and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons, insert the USB cable to boot the device into download mode. Once you see this screen, you can go ahead and unplug that USB cable. It's no longer going to be needed. From here, we're going to look at this menu and you should, as long as you have enabled OEM unlock, you should see a volume up long press option to device unlock mode. As long as you see that, go ahead and press the volume up button. And then that should take you to the next confirmation screen for the bootloader. Now from here we're simply going to follow this menu right here. From here we can press the volume up button to confirm yes that we want to unlock the bootloader or you can change your mind and then press the volume down button to not unlock the bootloader. Remember this may void your warranty. This may break certain apps and services like Samsung Pay or Samsung uh, Secure Folder. 
any of these apps that rely on Knox can be broken by unlocking the bootloader and rooting the device. So we want to confirm to unlock the bootloader for the Samsung Galaxy S21. We're going to press the volume up button. It's going to turn our device off. Boot up. We're going to press the power key to continue. And it's going to perform a factory data reset. Now it's going to boot back up or restart again, as you saw. And this time it's going to boot us into the Android activation screen since we just performed a factory data reset. This first boot back into Android is likely going to take longer than normal because we just did that reset. So be patient here, no need to get paranoid or anything, this is normal. And just be aware that you're going to be able to restore any of your data that you have previously backed up, especially with something like Samsung Smart Switch or even Android's backed up utility. Once we log back into our accounts, we'll be able to do our restores. I'm just going to go through this activation screen. So we're just finishing up the activation here. And once we are back into Android, you can double check things by going into the settings account. We then need to enable developer mode again. And then dive into the developer settings section. And then if you look at that OEM unlock toggle that we were able to toggle on and off before, now it should be grayed out. And you should get a message right there that says the bootloader is, un all, is already unlocked. So that is how to unlock the bootloader for the Exynos Samsung Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, the Galaxy S21 Ultra.